Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction and today I wanted to go over with you guys why dumbbell shoulder shrugs are a bad exercise and it's actually one of my favorite exercises but this whole series of pointing out flaws and common exercises because I don't think this is covered enough so I might as well do it. So obviously I think doing shoulder shrugs is great for your upper traps, it really develops them. I do them in the gym, I go up to 100 pounds and I just go like that, just crank out a bunch of sets, I really feel it. But you gotta think, what is another major muscle that's working when you do this exercise? And I've done a video on this previously, but I thought I'd just do a specific video on this. But what's another muscle that's really working out when you're doing this exercise? Another muscle that's really working is your levator scapulae muscle. And your levator scapulae is another muscle that it does what its name suggests, it sh shrugs up your shoulders like that. And this muscle, you gotta think of what's another action it does. It also downwardly rotates your shoulder blades, so down downwardly rotates them. And that can be relevant because what is your shoulder blades doing? What are they doing when you raise your arms up over your head like that? Your shoulder blades, when you raise your arms up, they're supposed to upwardly rotate like that. And so, if they're limited because your levator scapulae is too overdeveloped and too stiff because you never stretch it, you could get extra downward rotation and then you could begin to get issues in your shoulder because as I said many times, you have that space in your shoulder called the subacromial space where you have structures in there like your biceps, supraspinatus muscle, all of that. Those could begin to get impinged upon. You get rota a rotator cuff injury potentially, biceps tendonitis, all sorts of issues. So you want that space to be maintained as much as possible and if that levator scapulae is too, getting too much downward rotation, it's giving too, you too much downward rota rotation, you could get issues then. So I think a good thing to do is to stretch that muscle. I've added a, an additional thing but because so, I feel it more when I do this extra step but pretty much let's say I'm stretching this side, you can side bend here, side bend to the opposite side, rotate to the opposite side, take the hand on the side you're stretching bring it up to your head because now you're getting upward rotation now and then take your free hand bring it down your head down towards your knee if you don't feel the stretch redo it but I feel it so hold that stretch for 30 seconds do it twice on each side and so you could do that more often it don't do it obviously if you have dizziness pain anything like that but it's I think it's an effective stretch and then once you've done that you also gotta be aware of that your traps, it has other parts, I mean, you have your upper traps, but people very rarely work out their lower traps. So you could potentially get a muscle imbalance over time if you're always shoulder shrugging. So you gotta make sure you work out your lower traps as well. And you can do this by, say, your lower traps, they, by the way, uh, they bring your shoulder blades together and depress them, so they retract and depress you. But how you work them out is you could go on the lat pull down machine, take that bar, bring it down to your chest, do an isometric hold, just hold that for say 30 seconds. You can do it three times or so. You could also do the Y exercise, which is one of my favorites. You take two light pound dumbbells, you lay up face down on the bench, you go up into a Y position like that. You're attracting and depressing when you do that. So you could do that, say three sets of 15 or so. And that's gonna be an effective lower trap exercise just to even out that muscle balance that could potentially happen and give you issues. And also many people, they just don't stretch their neck in general. So if you do a lot of shoulder shrugs for upper traps, they could get very stiff. And then from that, because your traps, they attach right here behind at your skull. So you could get headaches from that. You could get neck pain, shoulder pain, a bunch of issues if you have very tight upper traps. So you could stretch those. So you reach down, grab the bottom of a chair, stand up, just reach down, side bend opposite, side rotate, same side. Take your hand, go down like that. Don't do the stretch if it's painful. Mine are very tight right now. Wow, they're very tight. So hold that stretch for 30 seconds. Do it twice on each side. That's gonna stretch your upper traps. A lot of people need to stretch that. Don't do that if it's painful. If you're dizzy, you have any neck issues though. But that was just some basic flaws with the exercise. It could get you very tight in the upper traps. You could potentially get more of a muscle bounce between your upper and lower traps. You could overdevelop develop your levator scapulae, which could give you issues, but overall, I do like doing shoulder shrugs a lot, and I just enjoy getting uh, bigger upper traps, so that's why I like it. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, thumb it up, comment, subscribe to my channel. This has been Jeff once more, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later soon.